हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डील विद वन इम्पॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट विच इज यूज वेरी फ्रिक्वेंटली इन एन टी एस सी एग्जाम्स रेलवे रिक्रूटमेंट एग्जाम्स एंड अदर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स ऑफ इक्वेरेंट कैडर नाउ दिस इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ फाइंडिंग द यूनिट्स प्लेस वेन वी आर गिवन एन एडिशन ऑपरेशन और ए डिफरेंस ऑपरेशन और a sum of two thirds now see i am taking one example of a sum suppose we are given 3128 plus 2343 3. now we have to find the units place in this now this is very very simple because there is no need to add the entire number for finding the units place you just need to add the units place of the two numbers 8 plus 3 is 11 and the units place of this sum will give you the unit place of the entire problem so the units place of this sum is 1 now similarly when the question is based on difference then you have two different problems here suppose we have the question 71289 minus 2345 now this units place is 9 and this units place is 5 so the difference here is 4 which is the required solution but when this unit place suppose you have the problem as this minus 2 3 4 8 7 now this units place is 3 and this is 7 so the difference of these two will give you a negative number which cannot be the answer so what you do is you just put one one before this number 3 so that it becomes 13 and now the difference of 13 and 7 is 6 which will give you the units place of the difference of these two large numbers so you see there is no need to add the entire numbers to find the units place in addition there is no problem even if this unit place is smaller than this one you can add the two and if you get a two digit number then the units place of this sum will give you the units place of the problem but in case of difference you need to see if this is greater than this then the solution is very simple just subtract and get the units place but if this is smaller than this one then you have to convert this 3 into 13 so you have to put one prefix one before this units place and then subtract 7 to get the units place of this difference now coming to product suppose you have 2 3 4 5 7 2 5 1 7 2 5 1 multiplied by 3 4 8 9 now this is a very large product and if you are asked to find the units place of this then obviously you cannot multiply these numbers and arrive at the units place so what you do is just take the units place of the three numbers 5 1 9 and, and multiply these three because there is a multiplication operation in between these three numbers so multiply these three you get 45 and take the take the unit place so answer is 5 so in case of product also you just need to multiply the units places of the numbers to get the unit place of the product so sum difference and product now come to the most important part which is asked in most of the competitive exams that is in either in ntsc or uh, railway recruitment or any ssc exams you will find these type of questions to find the unit place of say we have 1347 raised to power say we have a large power now so that you cannot expand this power now obviously there has to be a shortcut to find this unit place now and we have another number 2343 and now another power say we have 27 now 1347 raised to power 109 plus 2343 power 27 no one can calculate obviously this uh, it's a very very large calculation so 
now i'm going to tell you how to find the unit place of this sum now the shortcut for this is what you do is you divide this power by 4 this is a standard number 4 so you have to remember that whenever you have to find a unit digit in which powers is given then you have to divide the power by 4 okay then similarly divide the other power 27 by 4 4 is standard you have to always divide by 4 only now what happens is when you divide 109 by 4 you get 1 as the remainder now remainder is 1 similarly when you divide 27 by 4 so 4 4 sixes are 24 so remainder is 3 now you have to rem remember these remainders on the basis of these remainders only you will get your solutions so now there is a small table which you have to remain remain which has to remain in your mind remainder and the power if the remainder is 0 if the remainder is 1 remainder 2 remainder 3 because obviously remainder cannot be 4 or greater because we are dividing by 4 so it cannot be 4 or more than 4 so we are taking remainder 0 1 2 3 so if the remainder is 0 then you take power as 4 and in all other cases the remainder and power remains same so remainder is 1 power is 1 remainder is 2 power is 2 remainder is 3 power is 3 now this is a small table which you have to remember for finding the units place of this question now the required solution units place is given by now there is a direct formula for this what you do is you take the unit place of the first number 7 unit place of the first number and you see the remainder when it is divided by 4 the power is divided by 4 the remainder is 1 so when the remainder is 1 the power is also 1 so i raised 7 to the power of 1 and now there is a plus sign in between the unit place of this number is 3 and when i divided 27 by 4 i got the remainder as 3 so when remainder is 3 power is also 3 so this power is 3 and now 7 plus 3 cube is 27 so the sum is 34 so units place is 4 this is the required solution so you see knowing a small shortcut will enable you to find the unit place in any given sum in which the powers are so large that you cannot expand them actually and find the unit place of the sum i'll just revise this for you because this is a very crucial method what you do is the two powers which are given you just divide them by 4 and find the remainders in both cases and corresponding to these remainders you have the powers now the units place of this question is given by taking the units place of the two numbers this is 7 and 3 here and raised to the power corresponding powers the remainders you have you already have the remainder so you write the powers and these powers will come here and when you calculate this you get a two digit number just take the unit place of this you will get the answer unit place of the required problem so this is one of the methods which you have to remember because in most of the competitive exams you will find these kind of questions so keep learning keep enjoying and share and subscribe the video if you like it